things have really gotten interesting regarding the new speaker of the house, Mike Johnson. Now he is a Republican. Now an old video uh, resurfaced on the internet shortly after he became the speaker of the house. Now within this video, he was talking about his two sons. Check it out. And I've thought often through all these ordeals over the last couple of weeks about the difference in the experiences between my two 14 year old sons, Michael being a black American and Jack being white Caucasian. They have different uh, challenges. Uh, my son Jack has an easier path, he just does. They're, the interesting thing about both of these kids, Michael and Jack, is they're both handsome, articulate, really talented kids, gifted by God to do lots of things. But the reality is, and no one can tell me otherwise, my son Michael had a harder time than my son Jack is going to have simply because of the color of his skin. And that's a reality. It's an uncomfortable, painful one to acknowledge, but people have to recognize that's a fact. What should we do about that? I think that we need, uh, we really do need systematic change. I think we need transformative solutions. I think we, we're at a moment where we can begin to do more to form that more perfect union, as it says in the first line of the Constitution. So as you saw there, he said that he has a black son and a white son, the white son being Michael and the black son being Jack. And he said that his white son would have an easier time with life because he's white and his black son, not so much because he is black. Okay, which, you know, duh, right? We know that. And so the interviewer asked him, well, what do you think needs to be done? He says, well, there needs to be some systemic changes and transformational solutions. And he also brought up that of the constitution where it said that we need to live in a more perfect union. Okay, so once that got all over the internet, some black people were like, hmm, that's very interesting. But of course, you know, white people was like, oh, well, you know, his speakership needs to, you know, be a short one. And, you know, he sounds like a Democrat and that, all that other stuff. But it's like, well, I mean, his party didn't see that being a problem. Now, the other thing is this, which Mike, I don't know, he could be a Trojan horse. They actually call him MAGA Mike because he was a big time MAGA supporter. Sounds like he really loved Trump. And he was also, from what they say, one of the ones that were at the helm of the January 6th insurrection. So that's very interesting, but it's also very interesting that for him to say, you know, well, my black son is going to have a tougher time in life. Now, a lot of white people are saying, oh, it's fake news. He doesn't really have a black son and, you know, just all this other stuff. But of course, a lot of other people's like, well, yes, he does. Here's a picture he uh, adopted uh, from what they're saying the black son when he was 14. Now, if it was a real adoption, I don't know. There's a lot of dispute going on. But nevertheless, isn't it interesting that this big time MAGA GOP, new speaker of the house, um, has been seen speaking up for his black son. Now, of course, we as black people in America, we know that systemic and institutional racism has kept us down. It still keeps us down, right? But to hear a white man who is a Republican, who is a MAGA supporter, say those things. Now, to me, that's when my ears start to perk up. Like, really? Tell me more. Now, because I know we as black people, when I say we, I mean as a collective, maybe not as a collective, but the ones that vote for the Democrats. How about that? We only want to vote for people who are Democrats and who are black, right? And if they're black Democrats, that's even more the better for um, voters that are black. All right. Well, to me, this says that we should start paying attention to people who speak like that. Now, is he sincere? I don't know. It remains to be seen, right? But we need to stop voting for people just because they're black Democrats, right? Uh, our help, I'm just saying this loosely, I'm not saying anything concrete, our help could come from a white Republican. Now, I know I probably lost 75% of the people who was watching this. You, you, you know, you did the Tasmanian devil in your mind. Oh my God, I can't believe she said that. I'm just saying, sometimes we need to get out of, uh, out of our emotions and start thinking logically and at least say, well, what if, what if I started to listen to some other information outside of the information that I've been listening to that has not gotten me anywhere? I'm just saying, don't be mad at me for asking y'all to just kind of think about it. Now, again, I don't really know who this Mike Johnson is. I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more about him, especially since this video has come out about him talking about a black son. 
that he feels um, there needs to be some changes so that he doesn't have a hard time in life. Oof. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.